Hey guys, Hexertech here for another video tutorial for you guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys a new program on the internet that I found. It's called Minus, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open my browser up here and show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, the program that I found is used for storing videos and files online. Uh, you get 10 gigabytes for free, and you can use that to store any of the files that you would like. Uh, it's really a great site because it doesn't cost you anything, and you can store things other than you know videos and things like that, like PowerPoints. Uh, you can store Word documents for school and things like that. So I've just searched minus m i n u s on Google, and it's going to be the second link that comes up. It's free image and file sharing. So I can go in here now. I've already got um, my own little account here, a free account. And I just put a couple test things in here. I've got a Word document from my school um, and college here. And I've got a couple episodes of Survivor listed in there just for a test of some videos that I had laying around. And you can see here is your storage usage. Uh, right now I've only used up about a gig. You get 10 gigabytes for free. And you can go here and you can actually get more space if you like just by getting people to join. So every person that you invite, you get an extra gigabyte of space. So that means that you can actually potentially get um, an extra 50 gigs, uh, I think, for free if you get enough people to join, which is pretty cool and it really is a great service. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just show a couple features of the service here. Uh, when you go into your folders, you actually get to make folders with this program and what it does is it gives you an image of the file so for videos you get a little thumbnail you can see this is a thumbnail of survivor here and then this is a different episode and it gives you a thumbnail of just a part of the video what you can do is you can either download the file you can download it as the direct file or you can download it as a zip and you can make each of these little pages, these folders, you can make them public or you can make them personal. If you make them public, you can send one of your friends or a family member a link to the file and they can actually download it themselves. It's got a link to the actual file or just to the folder so they can see all of your videos or pictures potentially. Um, you can rename the folders using this little icon here where it says rename folder and it has the ability to send the, uh, an email to a friend, for instance, straight from the page, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we got here. This is a sample document. Uh, the really cool thing about this is that you actually get to see a picture of what you're looking at. So instead of having to download the file to edit it, you can actually see an image preview of that Word document. So this is just a quick a uh, homework assignment that I did for my one of my college classes. You can actually see uh, the text on the page and scroll through it and see if that's the document you want or maybe if you just wanted to read off of it. You don't even have to download the file. You can just go to the website and log in and then there's your file and you can edit it. I've also just done a PowerPoint here and I believe you can actually scroll through. Yep, this is a storyboard that I did. Um, somewhat of a storyboard I was working on and you can actually scroll through your PowerPoint slides as well. Uh, I think you can actually even zoom in on these as well. Yep, you can make them full screen or you can make them partial screen, uh, which is really cool. And then, of course, you can save any of these to your computer and open them up just like you would a regular file. So this is a really, really cool uh, little online service that I found. Um, all you have to do is drag and drop a file onto here. So if, for instance, you wanted to take a video file or maybe just a Word file, um, here's a couple PowerPoints that I have, so if I wanted to take a video or whatever and drag it and drop it onto this here, it'll actually start uploading it to the server. So you can see here it's processing it. A video file might take up to an hour or so to upload, but that's still pretty quick considering how big those files can get. Um, and then if you don't want that file, you can always click on it and delete it. Um, I don't really need this, so I'm going to delete it. But you can upload as many files as you want, up to 10 gigabytes, and you can get up to 50 gigabytes if you invite your friends. Uh, I'm going to have a link on my YouTube uh, little page here where you can actually click and subscribe to this website. And if you join, then I'll get that extra space, and you can send links out and hopefully get some more space yourself. Uh, so I just thought I would share that with you guys. I thought it was a really cool program, a really cool site. 
and hopefully you can get some use out of it, and I will see you guys in my next video tutorial. Alright, thanks for watching.